Hello, my name is Rodney Zarevist. I'm a saxophone teacher with over 20 years of experience. Since I've started teaching, I've worked with students of all age levels. I love working with elementary school students. They are just filled of excitement and joy. I think my middle school and high school folks have those qualities as well, but they are also starting to figure out what kind of person they are and which genre of music they identify with more, whether it be jazz or classical focused. After years of teaching, I noticed that a lot of my students do decide to continue studies into the college level, either as a music major or as an enthusiast and hobbyist for life. I also work with adult students who have never picked up an instrument before in their life, and I enjoy watching that love of music become cultivated. I'm not particular to any age group, and I would love to work with students of all abilities and age levels. When I was a very young student, I noticed that my musical interests were rather eclectic, and that is something that I have never let go of. I have played in Broadway shows. I rather enjoy performing jazz music in the combo and big band setting. I played with polka bands. I really enjoy picking up my soprano saxophone and playing in klezmer style clarinet transcriptions. I appreciate that I have pushed myself in this way because it has allowed me to be a better teacher. Every 30 minute lesson I give, I ask myself a question. Where does this student want to go? What genre of music makes them feel good? Now, don't get me wrong, school music will come first. And I'm very insistent on the fundamentals, but after that is all taken care of, I love working with my students on what makes them feel happy and what makes them unique performers. So I would just ask all, all parents or anyone who's considering private lessons to consider this. Your uh, child's band director is trying to gather the abilities of 30, 40, 50, sometimes 60 plus students. There's only so much individual one-on-one -on -one attention the director can give when they're working in a group setting like that. So some students are going to be behind for different reasons. Perhaps they don't understand how to practice or perhaps they are reticent to ask for help because they see that their peers are ahead of them. Sometimes students struggle because the music is too easy for them. Sometimes it's too hard for them or sometimes they don't care for a particular piece and they become a touch bored. Private lessons are going to benefit your child by being an equalizer to those issues. My number one goal as a teacher is to make sure your child feels challenged and fulfilled regardless of them being behind or advanced. And at the same time, I want them to feel like they're succeeding every step of the way. My job then becomes about locating appropriate materials to bridge gaps in learning and then foster new growth, whether it be method books, solo literature, insisting that they, what, what I call, taking their medicine, meaning that I would insist on certain fundamental drills or changing their practice habits, or sometimes the best thing is offering a supportive ear when frustration sets in. In all of this, my number one goal is to make sure students have the tools to remain engaged and to succeed.